Peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to make a customized dog tag using our laser engraver. So let's get to it. So we just got a new rescue puppy and we need a dog tag for her. So we're going to use our Montport 40 watt CO2 laser to make a custom dog tag with her name on it on anodized aluminum. So this is really cool because we have not engraved anodized aluminum in the past. So this will be kind of a new process for us. So we're gonna go ahead and do some cool designs and get it on. So we picked up this kit on Amazon, which comes with anodized aluminum little dog tags in bone shape and in little circle medallions. And it also comes with the rings to connect to the collar. And we'll go ahead and put a link in the description. But what's cool about these is they are laser engravable with our Montport laser. So we're gonna go ahead and design up something for our new puppy and get it engraved. Now we can open up Inkscape to design our dog tag and I'll import an image of it so we can use it for reference. And now I can resize it to fit the document. I'll go to the text and font tool to add her name and select a font. I'll click apply to save my settings. Using the selection tool, I'll adjust my text. I want to turn this into a path, ungroup it, and break apart the eye. This is because I want the dot to be a daisy instead. I'll use the circle tool to do so, holding shift and selecting the color to give it a stroke and X to remove the fill. In the fill and stroke tab, stroke style, I can adjust the line. Now I'll use the bezier tool to draw the petals and curve it with the nodes tool. I'm going to copy and paste this to add more petals that I'll move to place. Now I'm going to hold down shift to select all of my flower and group it together. This just makes it easier to move. Now I want to copy and paste the flower to add kind of a frame. Now I'm going to create a rectangle that fits my dog tag as a helpful tool for scaling later and I'll move it to the bottom. Finally, I'll delete my image and change the colors so they'll work better in Lightburn. So now that we have the design, we're gonna go ahead and scale it in Lightburn, but we need an accurate measurement of this little dog bone. So I'm just gonna use the calipers here to measure this out. So inch and a half by one inch. All right, now that we have the design done, we're in Lightburn and we're gonna go ahead and import our SVG. And before we get started, the reason I drew this little rectangle around the dog bone is to give us something to scale to. And I think the easiest way is for us to go ahead and draw a little rectangle for our scale, which was one and a half by one. And then we can use that to scale this design. All right, I think that's pretty close. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that rectangle that I drew. And what I wanna do is I wanna break this apart because I want this rectangle to be on a different layer. And I'll show you why here in a minute. All right, so my blue is going to be a line that's just going to do an outline. And I'm gonna use that to basically create a line on a piece of tape that will show me where to put the dog bone and then we can engrave the rest of it. So the red is going to be a fill. So I just need to do some adjustments on the powers and speeds and we can start getting to the engraving process. You could see here when it engraves, it sees these as openings, so it's not gonna fill in these areas. So we need to do some adjustments to kind of merge the flower petals together so it, it doesn't see those lines. And I think we just need to do a Boolean join to make that happen. So what I had to do is ungroup it, and then I can do a Boolean join, and that seems to work. Yes, much better. There's that little extra line that we're gonna have to delete, which is not a big deal. And that seems to fix everything. Now it's perfect. So the last thing I wanna do for setup is, because this is gonna be so small, I wanna make sure we have very, very good resolution. So what I'm gonna do is on my engraving layer, on this fill layer, I'm going to change the interval here to something really small. That way the laser will pass by at a closer increment along that axis. So we'll call 0.4 good and see what kind of resolution we get there. Is 
is I want to use that rectangle to position the dog bone collar tag, dog tag. I'm going to use it to position the dog tag. Rather than trying to get the dog tag perfectly aligned on this surface here, I'm just going to put down some tape, laser out that rectangle, and that will tell me where to put the dog tag, and then we can do the engraving. Really important here is we want to turn the output off of the engraving piece and just do the outline of the rectangle. I'm going to connect it. Now I'm going to home the machine and then I'm going to frame it out and that's going to tell me where to put the tape. We're going to go ahead and turn off the output of the rectangle and we're going to turn on our engraving and now it should engrave out perfectly. Looks pretty cool. Exactly what we were looking for. Should we see if she likes it? Let's see if she likes it. turned out really cool and we don't really have any improvements or adjustments we'd want to do. Yeah, it lasered out just perfect uh, with the settings that we had in Lightburn first try, which is really cool. Uh, this anodized aluminum stuff is really easy to engrave and the process is exactly the same if you wanted to do the reverse side with a phone number or address. All you have to do is get rid of the front part that you had before the engraving and then read the same rectangle where it is on Lightburn and put your other information and then just flip it over and laser it out again. We are continually impressed with the a diversity of materials that we can engrave with our CO2 long port laser. We love having the ability to do stuff like anodized aluminum, leather, wood, what have you. We've gotten some amazing results with some of the projects that we've done. So we absolutely love this Montport laser. So if you want to get one of these lasers for yourself, don't forget our promo code anonymous10 to get 10% off your laser. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.